What a game, what a finish. Obviously, uh, Kansas State's a very good basketball team that provides a big matchup problem for us, but I thought, I thought they played incredible. Um, and I thought we did a really nice job of playing together. And I love, I love our defensive intensity really in, those, in the first couple quarters and really into that fourth quarter. Um, and we're gonna, keep, we're gonna keep getting better. I love when we play at the tempo and the pace that we like to play. Uh, and we get a little stagnant at times, but we'll, we'll figure it out. But I'm just, I'm really proud of this one, and I'm really proud of the end of the game. I, I, you know, you put your money on this team anytime when we're in it at the end. Perfect, James Hale. I'm curious about the last action, Jenny, uh, because again, you know, you don't. You don't call time out, you don't like to, and the team responds to that, and they run a great, you know, they just run your offense. Is that exactly where you wanted the ball? Because, hey, it works. Anytime you can get the ball to 30, she has a chance to score. Well, and honestly, whenever you get that ball to Maddie Williams, she makes great decisions. And I think, you know, for her to be able to make those plays, and she draws so much attention, and everybody knows it, and so there's a time and place that she's going to be able to get to the basket uh, or, you know, shoot, just even shoot the ball. But there's a time and place where she knows exactly how to set people up. And so she made the read and D made an incredible extra pass to Taylor. She kept moving. So uh, is it just like we drew it up? Not necessarily, but at the same time, they knew exactly where to go and exactly where to be and they play off each other so well. Taylor, could you talk about the action and what you were looking, were you trying to get it over there? Um, yeah. Um, we only had a, like 14 or 15 seconds um, when we got the ball to try to get it set up. Because um, I know I was dribbling it up the court, um, and I handed it off to, I think, Kennedy. And then um, we were trying to get into our action that we wanted, me and Maddie, um, at the elbows. And then after we did that, um, it was just kind of like we were playing basketball, and um, I knew my person was kind of staying in, so I just got out to the three because she went to go help on Maddie. And then Maddie just made the right play to throw it out to D, and then a good extra to me. Thank you. Congrats. Joey Homer. Yeah, Jenny, I just want to ask you about the rebounding. You guys uh, lost that uh, battle pretty significantly in the first meeting between the two, and you guys won it 38-34. Mm -hmm. How pleased were you with what you guys did on the glass today? Well, obviously, just in the paint in general, I thought we did a really nice job. And there were a couple times, you know, the, the long rebounds, we've got to get our guards even more involved. Um, but I thought we did a nice job of, of trying to create some space. I mean, there were times I think we were even boxing Lee out, and she's just a lot bigger than us and was able to get it and put it back. And so those are the ones that we've got to be able to kind of clean up a little bit. There's too many second chance points there. But at the same time, I feel like we did a much better job on the defensive rebounds. I'd still like to see us a little bit more on those O boards. So am I totally satisfied? Not really. Not even 50-50, but I'm getting closer because before it was probably about 5%. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we're closer. Ryan Aber. A uh, question for uh, both Jenny and Taylor is, first of all, uh, Jenny, for you, uh, you, you touched on it there with that answer in, in your opening statement, but uh, specifically the job that y'all did on the lead and I uh, slowed her down, the difference between that and the first meeting. Um, it, you know, how difficult was that to decide what you're going to do to try to uh, change things up, and, and, and what did you think overall of the execution of that? Uh, I know it obviously opened up some things that they were able to take advantage of, but... Uh, uh, you know, what, what did you make of the job that y'all did uh, there defensively? Well, we knew we had to do something different, obviously. And so um, being able to do that, I thought our players did a nice job in, in a couple days, right? You, you can only put in a, diff a completely different game plan, you know, for two days before you're playing in a game. And so I thought we did a really nice job. Uh, of being able to completely change our defense, essentially, to be able to do that. However, I thought this was one of the best times that we have made in-game adjustments as well defensively. And at the same time, you got to give credit. I mean, I thought Serena Sundell, I thought she was incredible. You know, she's had some really good games. 
Um, but she was incredible tonight. I mean, she hit some big threes. She hit some really big shots. Uh, and I also, I thought Laura, you know, I thought Laura Mackey did an incredible job too. And that was, that was, you know, part of our game plan. And I thought she, she did a nice job. Obviously, you know, she hits a huge three at the end of the game. And so from a standpoint of um, our team, I thought we did a really nice job, and yet we still had to continue to make adjustments as the game went on because you still have to be able to read the game. And then uh, for Taylor, you know, did you feel good uh, right when that, that shot left your hands? Were you confident that, uh, that it was going in and that you had let it go in time? And uh, I also want to ask you about the appropriateness of, of you uh, hitting that shot on a night when uh, Sherry Taylor was on. Um, well, for the first part, um, I knew I got it off in time, and I always think that whenever I shoot, I always think it's going to go in, but I knew as soon as I left my hand, I knew it was going to go in, because it felt good. We all think that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, I knew as soon as I left my hand, it felt good, it looked good, it was right on line, I, so I knew it was good. And um, it was just really cool to have Coach Cole back and the whole, or most of the Final Four team, um, and just to have them be a part of um, the last few days and then to be at the game. It was just really cool to have that. Fantastic. Thank you, uh, Taylor. Congratulations. Thanks. Nick Coppola. Hey, Coach. Uh, I just wanted to ask you about you guys' uh, strategy against uh, AO, AO Police. Yeah, she dropped a 61 points when you guys' last game. Obviously, She's only averaging 50 now, though, Nick, so... So make sure you write that up. It's gone down. <laughs> okay. Um, I, I, I just want to ask you just about the, the strategy. I said you put a, just a lot of double teams on her, and I saw most of the time in the game you guys would just have a player just stand in front of her and just would prevent K State from really passing her the ball. Just like talk about just how you guys, how you think you guys played against her, and just what was the strategy, just trying to contain her today. Well, a huge strategy for us wasn't even necessarily uh, to double her before she caught it. We had to prevent her catches as much as possible. And so I thought, uh, you know, and we tried to throw different looks and do different things in terms of who was helping and who wasn't and who we were going to have to help off of. You know, when you do that, when you have to completely game plan, you have to pick people that you, that you don't guard. And so from that standpoint, um, I think they made some adjustments and, and they made it a little tricky for us. And I think we also adjusted to some of those adjustments, especially in that fourth quarter. I feel like I, I wish we could have adjusted a little bit earlier, to be honest, on some of them. But, uh, but I think as the game went on, I think we did make some of those adjustments. So I, I, was, I was definitely pleased with our effort there for sure. Uh, and then there's, you know, we probably needed to do a little better job guarding Serena Sundell because we lost her a couple times and we needed to not lose her. Ross Lovelace. Yeah, I have a question for uh, Taylor. Taylor, I was just uh, wondering, you know, you and Maddie kind of took over at different points in that game and, and controlled the offense in that game. Was there a conversation that you guys had before the game about, you know, uh, rebounding against Kansas State and not letting what happened last time happen again and, and kind of just stepping up and, and letting the team know how it was going to be this game? Um, we kind of have that uh, every game because we know um, our focus really needs to be on rebounding no matter who we're playing. Um, and so this game was no different. We knew we had to battle on the boards and try to get everyone that we could, especially like the long rebounds and not let the guards try to pick off a couple. Um, and I think that we've been trying to keep that mentality like through all the practices we've had and just like keep getting better every day in every game. And um, we were pretty good at it today or better than we have been. Jesse Crittenden. Hey, Jenny, how are you? I'm great now. How about you? <laughs> Not too bad. Um, I wanted to ask, you, you talk a lot about uh, just wanting to get better every game and, and wanting to have throughout the season. And, and obviously, you, you guys lost that first game in Kansas State, but you know, holding uh, Aoka to a smaller you know, point total, you know, winning the battle of the boards, is, are these the kind of things where you can draw a line from that first game to this one and say, I mean, hey, th we are getting better. We can, we can clearly see that. Is that did you see the improvement 
more than they can. I think defensively for sure, especially when you have to make such an adjustment and you have to just completely kind of shift. And not that we changed everything in terms of a game plan, but we did have to we did have to game plan for this one because there's, you know, we just we don't have size to match size, so we have to get creative. And I feel like today we got creative. Now I, I'm going to say, um, two people I thought took humongous steps for us today, and I thought it was D. Lampkin and I thought it was Kennedy Tucker. I thought the two of them were incredible. And I think you can start to really see them get more confident and more confident and more confident as time is, as time goes on. I thought, you know, I mean, D hitting a three, you know, I think everyone's shocked except for her teammates. You know, we see her do that every day. And so for her to be able to step up and do that and to have that confidence and to play, you know, the first time that we played them, she was just coming back from, you know, she was out for some health and safety protocols and a sprained ankle and then some other things. And so, you know, I, I thought she did a much better job today. And you can really see her confidence starting to kick again. And, she, and she's exactly what we need. We need her back again, like, like she really was playing confident early on. And I think we're starting to see that. Kennedy Tucker, I thought, was absolutely incredible defensively today. I thought she was able to read the game. She was understanding the game. She was understanding what we needed. Uh, and even even when she would mess up, she knew exactly why she was messing up and what needed to change and what needed to shift. So I think from that standpoint, we're really starting to inch exactly where we need to be inching. And I thought uh, I thought Kennedy and, and Dee were, were great. Appreciate that. And then Taylor, real quick, I just wanted to ask, I think uh, all four of your the three winners came in that fourth quarter. And I know you've talked about it, you know, you're used to being tightly guarded, you know, face guarded, mm -hmm. things like that, you know, to prevent getting the shot off. But, I mean, was that just, a, you know, in the flow of the game, you found more opportunities? Were you looking to be more aggressive? Just, I mean, what was that? What did you see in that fourth quarter? Um, I think it was a lot of my teammates were really trying to set me up because a lot of it was, like, off of, like, a ball screen or, like, in transition. They were really looking for me and trying to put me in a good spot to be able to get my shot off. And I think... A lot of it too. I was just trying to be patient and not force up a whole bunch because I hadn't been shooting or anything. I was just trying to let it come to me because eventually it, it always does. Appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Coach. Thank you, Taylor. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Appreciate you. I know it was a long day. Really appreciate you being here. Boomer. Sure. Nice, Taylor. For more information, you can visit TulsaWorld.com.